Hello, today is Monday, June 22nd, 2015. My name is Tyler. My name is David. This is the Greystone Podcast. Today is the very first podcast that we're doing on Innovation Week. This is day one of Innovation Week. It is 12 o'clock, almost exactly, in the p.m. Today, we have Tanner. Hi. Hello, Tanner. Hi. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a podcast. We don't shake hands. No, no, Tanner. We don't <laughs> touch the guest. The guest is not to be touched. So, germs. Um, You're contaminated. I got more white blood cells than I do germs, so. Oh, snap. <laughs> Tanner's getting all sciencey on us. Yeah. Alright, so, um, how you guys doing? Good. Meh. Meh. Javen, why are you meh? Because it sounds like meth. Okay. I should be the one going mad <coughs> inside the classroom taking notes on Bill Nye. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had to take 10 out of the class to do this, and they were doing no science notes on Bill Nye, the science guy. Dude, Bill Nye is awesome. They, they ripped off cops, like, the uh, cops, <laughs> they cops music started playing, and we were doing, like, blood flow and, like, your heart stuff, and uh, the cops theme started playing, and then, like, um... <laughs> That's amazing. It showed, like, it went to cops, and then underneath it said, like, uh, in your, like, bloodstream, and it was just white blood cells, and it was... That's amazing. That is strange. Um, so, right now we're just going to talk <laughs> about, um, it's a section that I like to call Daily Adventures. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is where we talk about, um, our upcoming week, um, how our weekends were, how our day is so far, so we'll start with the honor guest, Tanner, how was your day? It was That's fine. That's great. I'm just admiring the poster behind us that says success is hanging on after uh, there's a black go. It's a monkey smiling. I like how the monkey is blue. I like that one. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Alright, Tanner, All right. how was... My day was fine, I guess. I mean, right, one oh. week left of school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is oh, yeah. the last, very last week of school. Yeah, it is. So we got two months of... Yeah, there, there was a really bad, like, storm cloud above our school, so I'm thinking that that, that like, symbolizes the fact that it's Monday, <laughs> oh, okay. and, like, the second that uh, school is done on Friday, there's going to be, like, a shining beacon of light just at the entrance of the school. <laughs> yeah. Being, like, be everybody like, walking out. Those flying off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Then a wrecking ball to the school. Then, like, school's up for it. <laughs> Alright. All right. So, um, Tanner, what'd you do this weekend? Did you do anything? We just anything went camping. Um, Where'd you go camping? Uh, Allen Beach. Allen Beach. I don't know where that is. It's like five minutes outside of Stony. Oh, okay. But um, I also had a grad sale for Young Life, and uh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Went to the farmer's market. Free hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, free dude. chocolate in the summer, that's like the worst. Dude, that'd be the best. That's like torture right there. It's like getting free free ice cream and a Slurpee. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Alright, okay. right. uh, so are you doing anything this week, Tanner? Uh, this week, well, my little brother's birthday party is going to be this week. Interesting, that's going to be fun, I bet. <laughs> Bunch of eight-year-olds screaming and running around. around. Yeah, that mine that noise is just we're gonna have your people walking in here, I bet. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a few. You know, when we and Javen were doing research on or, uh, finding to oh, <laughs> find <laughs> finding <laughs> topics, nobody walks in. As soon as we hit the record, the and whole school <laughs> marches in here. <laughs> All right, so what do I go through? Oh wait, Javen, what did you do? Oh yeah, Javen, what you what you do? Or how's your day? How's your day? Been? My day was great, with the exception of me being freaking hungry. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, but like, uh, for my weekend, I went home on Friday, started making the best darn chocolate milk ever. Like then I found milk. out that there was. Then I found out that I didn't have any chocolate. So once I got <laughs> chocolate, I realized that I just used the last of the milk. Once I got more milk and chocolate. I lucked out and had vanilla, so I basically put a bit of vanilla in my chocolate milk, stirred it up, and it was the best darn thing in the world. Oh. I'm telling you, do that, it tastes a bit like caramel cake. Okay. That sounds opinion. amazing. Do you it have, is amazing. Have you guys tried, like, the Reese Puff cereal, where it's, like, the Reese's? I did once. It was yeah. alright. It was weird. Wanna know what's even better? What? Uh, so they brought back this old cereal called Trix for a little bit. Oh, Trix. Oh. <laughs> it's like chocolate and vanilla. Is it? 
Instead of chocolate and peanut butter, it's so good. Hey guys, how about uh, Crave cereal? Oh, never tried no. It. I've never no. tried it. Is it, is oh. it? <laughs> Dude, that, that stuff, stuff is, is the, the worst. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. I hate Captain Crunch. <laughs> I love Captain Crunch. Dude, Captain Crunch is really dude, good. Dude, get out if you don't like Captain Crunch. Do right, bye, Tanner. <laughs> it was fun having you as a guest. Who do I see to Crunch? Uh, really Lucky like Charms, though. Those marshmallows are like... Oh. Dude, they're like the most stale things in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I went to America last week. Or not, last, oh, yeah, last weekend. No, last uh, summer. And we got a Cookie Crunch. Or cook, a Cookie Crisp. It was really good. It was cookies. Like, it was oh like, my god, that's genius! It was genius. like little cookies. It was cookies, wasn't, it wasn't cookies, cookies in milk. It wasn't actually cookies. Oh, that's stupid. But it was it was really good actually. Um, I really want to try like those net uh, like nan bit cookies or whatever. Apparently, they're like the best cookies you can ever get. That sounds amazing. You mean other than homemade? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, we... Javen, what'd you do this weekend? Um. So, like I said, I made the best darn chocolate milk in the world. Honestly, guys, try that. It you will. <laughs> you don't want more. You'll point your finger at the microphone. <laughs> yeah, point, your f- point your finger at the microphone. Uh, that'll be your yeah. tagline for them for the chocolate milk. Yeah. Vanilla chocolate milk. So good. You'll point you point your finger at the microphone. Uh, it's good. And then uh, it I'm, was good. And then uh, on Saturday I had to babysit from uh, eight thirty <laughs> till like four in the afternoon. Oh, so I was oh, like, man. dang. But I got paid fifty bucks, so that was good. And uh, uh, it's all you got. Yeah. Wow. Brutal. Well, and are you doing anything this week, Jamie? Or are you still talking about the weekend? I'm, t- I'm still talking about the weekend. Fine. All right. Well, don't make it sound like you're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and uh, anyway, so during that time, I played The Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker with that guy, with the kid I was babysitting, because like, Legend of Zelda is amazing. I've never played a single Legend of Zelda game. Okay, so first you don't like Captain Crunch, and then <laughs> you don't like Zelda. Get the flip out. Alright, um, so Javen, are you done with your weekend? No, I am not. Well, well, stop. I went to a party, too, and I did some archery and uh, played some pool and darts. Well, there. Kind of are you done now? A party where there was Coca-Cola, which my mom wouldn't let me have, and Sprite. Oh, right. So you Sprite, right? And, uh, yeah. And, uh, of course, uh, I went to church, and it was Father's Day on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Right, and, uh, right. And, uh, my dad, uh, on Saturday, as he was looking for cards for his grand, for, not, not his grandpa, his grandpa. my grandpa, so his dad, uh, he looked in the, at, I think it was Walmart, and then, like, in the Father's Day card section, it was like, to my dad, from your cat. Then I was like, what? <laughs> and, uh, he was, then he looked at another one and said, to my, <coughs> You done there, Tyler? No. And then it's like, to my two dads. And he was like, okay, I'm going now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's when you know that. Yeah. Anyway, so that was my weekend. What did you guys right. do for Father's Day? I yeah, visited I Bob Layton, being that he's my grandpa. Yeah, your grandpa's Bob Layton, so. Yeah. What did you do for Father's Day, Dad? Me? I also got Kingsman on Blu-ray. Well, did you buy it? Did you get anything? Well, not buy, but did you guys give anything to your dad? I gave my dad I didn't Kingsman. tick off my younger sister. That's That was my gift That was for your him. gift. I was... You don't know how unbelievably close I was to getting with Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey was right next to Kingsman. I was like, oh, this would have been the best. <laughs> no, no, like, dude. my mom got Fifty Shades of Grey and, like, jeez. Favorite, her favorite movie now? <laughs> yeah. Watch it all the time with, with kids. My my younger it's sister. It's a family friendly movie. My my younger sister like tends to uh like just love any movie that I sit her down and make her watch it. Like she never wants to watch the movie beforehand, but after she watches it, it's like her new favorite movie. So if I like put Fifty Shades of Grey in a <coughs> National Treasure case or a Star Wars case or whatever, and then make her watch it, I guarantee you, my mom would walk home one day and be like. What are you watching? My favorite movie. Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> no, Javen, you still haven't seen uh, Shawsh- Shawshank Redemption, so you can't oh, talk yeah, about you, favorite movies. You need to watch that. You need That's to watch it. Movie. It can't be any better than Star Wars. It's way so better far. than all of them. All right, so um, my day was all right. I I mean, we, it took us a while. It took us longer than we expected to get all these notes down. And we still don't have much. 
But I think the way we're going right now, it should be good oh, to last us. Jaren's eating. To last us <laughs> a little while. Um, so this weekend, I. Um, we uh, I I went to go see um, the movie Inside Out, which we'll talk a little bit more of later when we do our new movie reviews and news. Don't mind the noise. Um, but yeah, I went for a sleepover with uh, some of my cousins. We played some new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii and some Mario Party. So that was a lot of fun. What else did I do? Oh, uh, Super Mario Maker. Uh, that's coming out pretty soon. Yeah, we'll talk about that later in gaming news. Yeah. Which both of them coincide with each other. Um, right. so yeah. Um. Hey, check it out. Frozen yogurt. Does <laughs> <laughs> it have a yogurt tube and has Princess Anna and Queen Elsa on it? Frozen yogurt. I've only ah, seen ah, that movie ah, twice. Ah, and I didn't. Uh, first you don't I like it. Frozen. No, first you don't like Captain Crunch, sorry. Then you've never played Zelda or whatever the second thing was. And now you don't like Frozen. I don't like, um... Dude, Elsa is hot for a cartoon Dude, character. Dude, that's, that's weird. All right. That's really weird. So, <laughs> no. Let's, let's move on to our next section, um, which is the news section. Oh uh, yeah, world oh, news. Let's world talk news. about Donald Trump. <laughs> no, we got, we got, we got another one first. So, oh, Pakistan in trouble after a heat wave. More than 200 what? people are now believed to have died during a heat wave in Pakistan's southern Sin, Sin, Sin province. Just Health stuff. officials say most of the deaths have been in the largest city, Karachi, which, <laughs> Karachi. <laughs> which has Stop ex- giggling. Experiment, experienced temperatures as high as 45 degrees Celsius. That's insane. That's 113 degrees. 113 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit in recent days. In the shade. Mike. That's, that's brutal. That's really bad. Nah. That's bad. That I is mean, bad. Like that's it's bad news, pandas. Like we think, we think that like <laughs> twenty five yeah, we, degrees. We go outside, Celsius. we're like it's ten degrees. Oh, oh god, the light! Because <laughs> we're Canadian, eh? So like, yeah, we're Canadian, eh? So with like forty, what is it? Forty five. Forty five degrees think. Celsius. I close the tab. Dude, like honestly. And how long? Hold on, sorry. We wouldn't how, be able to live in our igloos at. Uh, yeah, all 45. our igloos are melt. But how long has this been going on for? Um, past, past few days. Um, the yeah, it doesn't say forty-five degrees. Yeah, it doesn't say how um how much how many days. Um, but water and electricity have been been have been cutting because of it as well. Yeah, well, water. And yeah, it's even harder. Oh, speaking of which. Or yesterday, <laughs> it's my, phone. my mom made me some grilled cheese, <laughs> and then she like put the uh, frying pan or whatever on the cutting board, which she had just like uh, cleaned. And then I heard this like big sizzling sound, and I was like, "What the heck is that?" Then she was like, "Oh, the cutting board is still wet." <laughs> and I was like, "What the heck?" Or um, you know, with the whole like Pakistan drought slash heat wave, um, I have one thing to say. Thanks, Obama. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. It's all your Thanks, fault. Obama. It is global warming. <laughs> all right, so we got one more thing in world. I like to see how Donald Trump like totally compares to Obama. You know. Speaking of Donald <laughs> Trump, <laughs> our next topic is one that was just added. Donald Trump. Donald Trump <laughs> is running for president in the 2016 U.S. election. See if we well, were... I he, I think that he's pretty smart because like. He, one he called not, Mexicans <laughs> rapists. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> no, if I was, if one if does I, not simply build a, probably a wooden fence separating uh, the U.S. from Mexico without getting the Mexicans to pay for it. No, yeah. you know what? <laughs> Donald Trump... Um, he's an idiot. He's, he isn't nearly as uh, smart as Obama. Like, it's just... No, statistics show that Obama <laughs> was... China. That was, that was Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. <laughs> um, studies show that Obama w- did help <coughs> America. No. Nope. Not by much, but he did help. Yeah, and by what? Helping destroy the economy? No, he, he shut down the flipping didn't, government. Didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. And all right, really quickly, let's um, let's listen to a quick, quick speech of this man 
Who is Donald Trump? Is in serious trouble. China. I beat China all the time. <laughs> when did we beat Japan? At anything. <laughs> the U.S. has become a dumping ground for everybody else's problems. <laughs> I'd be up for Donald Trump being American president because because I mean, we're Canadian. I mean, honestly, it affect us. Honestly, <laughs> like the fact that he said he wants to have like the strongest military. They already have like the world's strongest military. Oh no, Korea. Korea does. Korea's yeah. not bad. I thought it Badness. was America that no. always had the best. No. I'm pretty no. sure. No. What? No, I America has, has the biggest Korean military be- budget then. <laughs> okay. Oops. I know. I I think that um. Donald Trump's uh, talk about Obamacare was pretty entertaining. <laughs> Although Obamacare is pretty dumb. Obama, like, said straight up... Alright, let's get on to Canadian news. We need a leader we get and into. a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> um, Donald Trump would probably be more of a dictator than anything. So two planes crash in midair near Fort McMurray. Oh, I heard about this. I mean, like... This was... Yeah. What was this? This was today a little while ago. It's happening wow. working bad, too. But two people, only two people died. Seriously? Really? In a fatal crash. The pilot wasn't hurt. Two people are dead after two small planes collided. Oh, those in, are... Mm, in okay. midair in northeastern Alberta. Mounties say the collision happened Sunday night east of Fort McMurray. Police say one of the planes landed safely and the lone pilot was uninjured. Oh, yeah, my mom packed me a banana muffin. <coughs> okay, um, never mind. So, what do you guys think of this? Um... Okay, well, I have a story thing to tell you. Or what do you, what do you guys think of planes hitting each other? Well, how do you well, how do you think that even works? Well, that happened in Breaking Bad too, and uh, well, that's because the one guy was. That, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's just not Breaking Bad matters. too. Okay, <laughs> what do you guys? Um, Dude. my dad. Uh, when we were going to like Disneyland like a long time ago, uh, like my grandparents were like, "You need to buckle up, uh, like my little brother, because like in a car seat because." Or like a booster, or yeah, like a car seat or something. Because she said uh, some little girl when they were in a plane crash, she survived. Survived. My dad was trying to tell her that like the little girl that survived because she was in a car seat was in like a Cessna and like only going like a few hundred feet up and like only like a few hundred kilometers an hour, not like eight hundred kilometer kilometers an hour and like sixteen thousand feet up or whatever, like. If two, like, Boeings hit each other, I don't think anyone would survive. Oh, that would be a mess. Yeah, that would be bad. These are two very small planes, as it seems. The lone like, pilot, it said, so that he was probably the only one. Like, so small, like small Cessnas? As in, small as in like one a, of those, like, tiny seaplanes or whatever? Yeah, like yeah. a Cessna. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it is a well, Cessna Well, on those, it's one only, like, two people can fit on those anyways. Cessna 172 and a Cessna 185. So, yeah. Still, that's, that's crazy, mm-hmm. like... <laughs> What do you do at that point when, like, say one of the maybe wings got torn the, off and maybe, you just started spinning? Yeah. Sharknado. Does that have anything to do with Sharknado? Mm-hmm. So are we done on this topic? <laughs> yeah, probably. Move on? All right. So this is where things get interesting. We're on to gaming news. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Fun. The world's most advanced gaming mouse. What? 
a tra there was a trailer for this gaming mouse. I can't. I don't think I can play it. They won't show the same impact, but we'll have it in the in the show notes. The Razer Mamba. The Razer Mamba. Released or announced during E3 last week. What What is it like? It is a hundred fifty dollar wireless gaming mouse. I don't. It's got a one sixteen thousand DPI laser sensor, and can be adjusted as you need. Really? Wow. And it says anal in this. (laughs) That was interesting. Uh, That's that's funny. What the mouse can just do that for you? Yeah, (laughs) it can. It can anal. (laughs) If I. (laughs) It has adjustable. it? It has adjustable click force buttons. Which allows the users to control how much pressure it takes to click the left and right mouse button. See, that would be smart. Or, that's kind of smart. What <coughs> What kind of game do you do? Um, I do a lot of different that? gaming. I play games like Fallout, um, Minecraft. I'm not a PC gamer, though. I'm more of a console gamer. Yeah, so same here. here. You, you I do console stay. gaming as well. You can stay this time. Okay, well, so really, like... Minecraft and Gmod are to like me, two, the two PC games. I don't, I don't understand why you need a mouse like that. <coughs> I mean, or unless you want doing to like rub it in other people's faces. Hardcore gaming, or you're trying to show how rich you are. <laughs> well, why not just get a complete solid gold mouse if you're gonna do that? <laughs> because then the electrical. Hundred fifty dollars for a mouse, though. Is I that paid bad? less for this than the microphone, <laughs> or more, or whatever. Is it, didn't um, you say pay the same thing and then you realize later, like on a diff on eBay, that you could get the exact same thing yeah, with the, uh, the exact have, same price with more stuff? Twenty bucks. Yeah. The microphone yeah. that I have right now is the Blue Snowball, and so I I bought it off Amazon for eighty bucks, and then a couple days later I look on eBay, it's the same microphone, same price, but it comes with a a headset <laughs> and a few other things. I was like, and, and, and a, a pop filter. Pop filter. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Shit, what in the world? Uh, right. This one just came with just the microphone. Just came the microphone, the sand, the cord. Well, that's why you do some more um, research on what you're buying. Yeah. Hmm. Well, sucks for me. All right. Like um, before I bought my Darkling Kylie and Fields, yeah. then, like, you know? Yeah, you should have figured out that it was crappy. No. So it's all Oh, five. I thought it was fiberglass. It is. There we go. It's so, so why is it crappy if it's fire, fiberglass? It was really poorly it's made. Glass. It's really poorly made and it's like cracked and stuff. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't look nice. Well, it's only the like <coughs> one piece of the like edge or whatever, not yeah. that big. Oh, so, I thought it'd be the full shield. Actually, I don't play Zelda, so I don't know what you're talking about. But I thought <laughs> you can about. leave now. <laughs> I imagine it being like a you big, can leave. huge shield. You know what, yeah. Tanner? If you don't like The Legend of Zelda, you can leave. I never said I didn't like it. I said I don't play it. You can. You know what? You can leave anyways. Bye bye. You know what I didn't put um, in the topics was a sports section. Oh yeah, we should have included a sports section. I can do that really quick while you guys talk about the next one, which right, is uh, top five, five video games at E3. E3. E3 was last weekend, not this week, or it was the weekend before. <coughs> either I'll let you guys either talk way, it's <laughs> fairly there. new. Fairly new stuff that you right. may not have heard of. So, I'm really uh, excited for Uncharted 4. <coughs> like, really. Dude, it's Star Wars Battlefront, sports. man. The new Star Wars Battlefront, that's going to be amazing. We'll do Which Edge of Nowhere? Time. Edge of Nowhere, um... Do, 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 terrifying oh, the Terrifying Horror, horror, horror and thrill. with wow. the Oculus Rift. Sounds like something we may need to do on one of our YouTube channels. Hey, Tyler? Maybe. So really quickly, E3, for those who don't know, is... The biggest gaming three E thing. <laughs> it, it's, it starts with three E's. Let me really quickly. It is sure. Electronic Entertainment Expo, which is an annual video game conference, video game conference and show. At this year was at a in a Hollywood. Uh, this is basically where the big companies like EA, who make the Nintendo. EA doesn't make the Nintendo. Who who make video games? They this is where they announce their games and their consoles. Mm-hmm. So t- this year was a really big year, especially for me, because Fallout 4. of course Fallout Four, the yeah. game finally Fallout Four was released. It was presented in a form of stage demo. 
um, which means they they play they played the game and they played a little bit of uh, like the first five or ten minutes of it and went through the basic um, uh, journey of it. Um, um, I've never played a follow game either. So uh, players will be able to create their own personal journey through a post op post apocalyptic nuclear wasteland as a survivor of Vault One Hundred One. So Fallout basically is a um, role-playing game in which you are a survivor of a war that happened in 2077 between U.S., China, and Russia, I believe. A nuclear war that caused the whole world to go into a wasteland, and yeah, you're trying to survive. It's a lot of fun. I like it. Yeah. All right, what about One time, uh, Tyler and I came across a uh, check in, uh, I think it was Fallout 3, right? Whose uh, only armor was like a breastplate, and then, like... Oh, yeah, Javen, Javen stripped her nude. <laughs> no, I didn't. You, you did, I watched me. it happen. You, you I wouldn't was there. let me. I was there. I watched it happen, Javen. You stripped you, her nude. <laughs> you okay, she wasn't naked. She was wearing... You wouldn't let me, man. I wouldn't have anyways. Right, Plus, she was, sure, like, sure, she sure. was, like, a chest down. <coughs> like, a chest on the ground. So, yeah. Plus, yeah. I'm not into that stuff anyways. What about Super Mario Maker? What's that? Oh, yeah, Super Mario Maker. That's going to be great. Basically, yeah. um, uh, players design and uh, share their own game levels based on uh, the classic Super Mario series. It's a bit like the original plan for the original Legend of Zelda game, where you just make your own dungeons, but then Nintendo was like, let's make this better, and then made Legend of Zelda the way we know and love it today. And, Star Wars uh, Battlefront. Um, that's a game that I used to play a lot. Star Wars Battlefront is like the best. What is it? I'm, I'm kind of scared for this one. I is feel that like, like that gonna... like third person shooter that's like yeah yeah. It's oh Star okay, Wars okay. Yeah, yeah yeah. It's I the mean... only th universe of anything where stormtroopers might just have a better shot. <laughs> I'm kind of scared for this to be honest. I mean I love Star Wars Battlefront, but I don't know. I I'm a little scared. What about? I don't um... think it'll be as good as the other ones. Are you guys yeah. like PS like PlayStation? I'm all Xbox. People? Oh, Nintendo man, Nintendo. All the I'm way. so excited! Oh snap, for we got Uncharted a PlayStation, 4. a Nintendo, and an Xbox in here. I'm I'm uh -oh. so excited That's for okay. Uncharted. Okay, okay. Uh, Xbox oh, and PlayStation, so you two go at it. I'll be in the corner uh, eating glue. Right. <laughs> I can't wait until <laughs> Uncharted Four comes out. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You know, I am considering buying a PlayStation Four over an Xbox One, mostly because, um, there are some games that I do want to play. Such as um, The Last of Us. Oh, yes. Great game. Fantastic. But the only problem I have is I really don't like the controller of the PS4. I love Xbox controllers to death. See, like, they're the most comfortable thing. I prefer Xbox controllers over PS... Like, PlayStation controllers. But just... I find... Like, I grew up playing, like, PS2. The original PlayStation. And then I went to PS3, PS4. Tyler's so eating good. too. He's copying me. I just like it. how Xbox did. Oh, I got popcorn. Sick. <laughs> oh, oh, you lucky. gotta give me some. You gotta give me some. I don't have any food here right now. Dude, all I got was frozen yogurt. <laughs> what else do I have in my and Xbox? Put it, or, and banana muffin. I don't know. For me, I'd say oh. that to, like... The Wii U gamepad is, like, freaking amazing. Because, like, they basically give cool. you a tablet, and uh, they, are say, they say, have at it. <laughs> but the, the thing that I really like... Tyler, you got processed cheese. Does your mom not love I got, you or something? I got the weird. No, my cheese. No, I packed my own lunch. There was like nothing. Do you else. not love yourself? Are you emo? A little bit. Okay, that's good. I'd like to think so. I cut my hair off. <laughs> yeah. All right. I cut um, my hair off. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, the gamepad. Like, it also solves a bunch of problems. Cause like me, having two sisters, uh. The oldest of which recently got married. Yay! Anyways, uh, so my younger sister would be wanting to watch, a, like, iCarly or something on the TV, and I'm like, no, I'm playing, like, I'm playing Smash Bros. Wii U or Wind Waker HD or something like that, or 007 Legends, and then, like, uh, then she would be like, Mom, and get me grounded. But now, now, <laughs> I am like, yeah, click of a button. And she's what she's happy. I'm happy. I normally turn up my sound extra loud on the gamepad to annoy her. So why not? And that wait, gets me grounded too. Are you able to like? Cause people are telling us it's lunchtime. Lunchtime. So are you able to like? We should have a lunchtime section. 
Can you like pause the recording? Like just pause it so I can go grab my lunch. Um, well we can just uh we can take a quick break if you want. All right, you guys keep talking. I'm gonna go grab my lunch. All, All right. right, you go do the that. Better, we'll be right back. And I wish it was my food in here so I just eat it. Right and uh, I think now we'll be, I think we'll take a quick lunch break. So we'll see you guys. Even though uh, Tyler and I are uh, currently eating our lunch already. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been eating our lunch for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then there's me who's been eating it for like ten. So uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye. Alright, we're back. Yeah, we are back. We had to take a break, let Tanner get his lunch. We had a pee break. Yeah. We're still eating right now. Yeah, so um, this should be interesting. <coughs> so uh, let's talk about what we're eating right now. What are we eating? Not this. Frozen yogurt. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm eating um some Michelinos, <coughs> uh furniture Alfredo. I am eating pudding. I am eating... Roots snack snack with snack which is why the heck are they called it's snack which okay with uh <laughs> processed cheese okay okay <laughs> mother, I love you, you. Or <laughs> <laughs> okay uh cheese flavor <laughs> that sounds <laughs> what's the other stuff <laughs> I do not know right so yeah um do you want to know. Really? We're not gonna continue topics until we're done our lunch. Um, we're just gonna just gonna talk. talk. Cause we have a lot of time. Yeah. One hundred and thirty grams of uh, dude Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos. Dude, remember when Dunkaroos used to actually be good? <laughs> now look at them. Look at I know them. they used dude, they to look be so like. Dumb. I don't know, they used to be all, like, different cookies, and now, like... Okay, let's talk about... And now they're all, like, these sticks or whatever, and then we we're should, like, really? We should talk about food stuff, like... Oh, uh, guys, one time there was, like, this malfunction or whatever in the, uh... Um, like, packaging thing of uh, Dunkaroos. And so, like, one time my mom bought a box of Dunkaroos for, uh, my sister and I for school. And, um... <laughs> you hear this? That's the cracker hitting the the so-called creep. Tedder <laughs> 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 uh, took it out. He's now holding a block. <laughs> the, the the icing and eating it on its own. Tedder, <laughs> you're disgusting. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there was a malfunction in the cool. packaging thing of Dunkaroos or whatever, <laughs> and so my mom right. bought a box of Dunkaroos, not knowing this, and then uh. So she, we would go to school, right? And then my, I would open up my Dunkaroos and be like, "This is empty." <laughs> 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 then another time it would be like, "There are just cookies in here." Another time, there, are, there's just icing. There's an overflow of of <laughs> icing in Dunkaroos. The icing's in the Dunkaroo spot, and the cookies are in the <laughs> icing spot. It was messed up, man. And the worst part about it was that for the ones that were like empty, the we called the people up and they didn't believe us that it came in <laughs> <empty. laughs> You can't complain about the overflowing ones. <laughs> yeah, those ones are good. Those made up for them. That's what they all like. Oh no. Second here is alright. I'll just clean up my tongue. Just think, guys, <laughs> if uh, one person has um, no Dunkaroos in their Dunkaroo thing, and someone in Australia or China has double. Has every Dunkaroo. <laughs> has, has your Dunkaroo. <coughs> Some Chinese guy stole all my Dunkaroo. <laughs> better like them all. Have you, have you seen them, sir? No, no. But I know he did, because mine is empty. How do you know it's a Chinese guy? Live on the other side of the world. No. Because you know, we can steal my duckaroos. No, Every time right. I walk in the street, <laughs> no, no. duckaroos in my head. No. Hey, I take them. I take them all. No. Donald Trump. The Mexicans took my duckaroos. They're rapists. <laughs> <laughs> they rape Had my kids. Had your wife. Because they're raping everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the worst. We are not talking about food at all. Do you guys, <laughs> right. do you guys realize that, like, this is supposed to be the school? Thing, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about Donald Trumping raping Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Mexicans raping Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a difference. Because <coughs> oh, Donald Trump is not at fault there. 
What have we done? <laughs> no. no. Is this supposed to be family friendly? I hope Donald Trump watches this. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> this is his favorite podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Better be. I'll call him up. Call him right now. <laughs> Yo, Donald Trump. Donald Trump phone number. <laughs> Oh, it's actually, good. it's it's like the number one search result. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's that one on the board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of want to read. Oh, that he's got one. a he's got a Skype phone number. <laughs> oh, he? dude, call him. <laughs> Skype him. Oh, I'll call oh, him. It's gonna be like I'll call, 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 call him next time. Something for you guys all to like look forward to. Tanner won't be here. Uh-huh. Call Who's him guesting what? tomorrow? We don't know. We don't have a guest for tomorrow. Anyone at Greystone who wants to be a guest, contact me and Javen because we need a guest really I bad. I love Javen, I'll guest tomorrow. You don't know Javen. He's the uh, really cool, attractive dude that uh, got Javen, first place Javen, at Javen, the talent show. Javen, talk yourself, not me. They don't, they don't even give out <laughs> prizes at the talent show. But you know everybody knew that I mine well, was there. Because everybody stood up and started screaming, going, woo, yeah. Dude, I played Piano Man on the harmonic and piano at the same time. And insane. singing it. Yeah. And then what like... about that is not freaking impressive? Plus, I w- w- ran up there with my Billy Joel suit on with the <laughs> suit jacket, black t-shirt, and the jeans. I think I was looking pretty darn sexy. Yeah. Surprised you didn't get anybody's number. Anybody I know, knows? me too. Like, I asked a few cute girls, then they were like, later. Then I was like... That's the right. nicest way of saying no I've ever heard. So anyone who wants to uh, possibly guest on the show, me and Javen are in the blue pod. And if there's no one who comes, I'll just do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we could get Mr. Burn or someone. If you're colorblind and don't know what pod you're in, I feel bad for you. <laughs> to you, it might be the red pod. The purple <laughs> pod. It could be the white like, pod. Technically, like it. Gray pod. It, they gray pod. Would, there's gray like, pod, technic- light gray, and dark gray. And then there's purple. Yeah. Technically, like, unless you're, like, full on, like, dog eyes with the, like, only black and white, technically, they should still know what the uh, color pod they're in because that's what they were taught was blue. Or that's what they were taught was, like. Kevin, I mean, you're only saying that because I told you about that. No, you're yeah. quoting Vsauce. And. Vsauce. <laughs> But that's, no, no, that's when, like, if you see some certain colors differently, then you'd know that they're that color. Who knows? Maybe everyone else is colorblind and I'm not. Never thought about that. All right, let's get on to our next topic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's like, sir, you're colorblind. No, we are colorblind. <laughs> so, um, it's like the ba- one bad driver in a town. It's like everyone else is a bad driver. I'm the good one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... These, the, this next topic is interesting. Um, so we're just gonna talk about movies, brand new movies that have come out. Have you guys seen any good movies so lately? Um, American Sniper. That's not really new anymore. That doesn't have to be new. Fantastic. You haven't, you haven't seen it I haven't I seen. Don't know. Um, I, 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 saw I haven't perfect. gone to the movies in a while, but um. I saw uh, some Pitch Perfect too. Yeah, that was awesome. I love that movie. Very funny. Um, Tyler, what was your opinion on it? Inside Out? Yeah. I talked about this earlier. To be honest, I didn't like it. It was... It was a Disney movie, obviously. It was very... The style of it was Disney Pixar, very obviously. Um, but it was not... I can imagine it being appealing to kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But... I didn't like it. I thought it was too drawn out in some areas. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to go see it, I'm sure maybe you probably like it more than me. Um, Tyler's just a bad attitude teenager. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He hates everything. <laughs> um, except for his hair. <laughs> Jurassic World oh, completely stole the box office. They made, I think, let's see really quickly. How much oh, you guys, you guys might hate me for this, but I still haven't seen any of the Jurassic Park movies. I haven't fully watched all of I saw number shows. one, then I like saw oh, okay. part of number two, and then I was like, nah, then number three I totally like, skipped on. Who's oh, cheese yeah. and crackers are these? I think those are fine. Those are fine. Are you going to lunch or are you having a lunch? We have to lunch. We're, uh, we're doing both. We're quite 
Yeah. Yeah. I hope that. It's not funny with with food in our mouths and talking at the same time. How much more? All right. So the opening weekend, it made two hundred two two hundred four million dollars. Whoa. Opening weekend in the U.S. Oh crap! So far, it's made almost almost four hundred million dollars. Wow. Better than Avatar. No, Avatar. What did Avatar make? Avatar. What did Avatar make? I know Avatar made like Avatar broke records, like smashed up. It. They they did hold the record for highest um, opening weekend until until Inside Out actually. I didn't see no Avatar. Do you know why? Yeah, it was broke. The um, amount of money they made was broken by Inside Out this weekend. No, I didn't yeah. see Avatar. Do you know why? I don't really care why. <laughs> because it said it is better than Star Wars because of the money it made. But almost a billion dollars. But if you look at the prices from nineteen seventy was the uh the amount of money it made in total. It two thousand whatever. It made eight million on opening weekend. And plus Avatar had the extra like three bucks in three D, it would like multiply yeah, that extra three bucks by however million people Star Wars saw probably it. had three D too. Uh uh. Not not, not the uh, not start not not, not the, the original ones, the newer ones. Ew. Gross. Why yeah. would you mention the fir- like why would you mention the prequels those? do not count as Star Wars. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the uh the Minions movie is coming out. That's oh yeah, yeah. That one looks that amazing. One. And you Mad see, Max. Like, Napoleon I'm not sure if any of uh, you guys are familiar with Mad Max, nah. but it's um, um, it's a uh, it's pretty much the same thing as Fallout, as I mentioned before. It's a post-apocalyptic world with Mel Gibson, the original ones. I like them; they were really good. Yeah, I haven't seen any one. Yeah, what about uh, Civil War, the new Captain America movie coming out next year? I think. It I'm is? really hoping. I think it's next year. Yeah. I'm really hoping that's not just. Avengers 2.5! <laughs> Watch this while you wait for Avengers 3! Because <laughs> so, so, that's what I'm scared for. Uh, I, I, I still haven't seen that, Avengers Age of Ultron, and I don't know if I want to. Dude, Age I didn't of like Ultron was great. You didn't? I thought it was really bad. Yeah, well, you also like Star Trek. Or you like the Star Wars. The new Star Treks are pretty good. No. Yeah. Correct. Compared to anyway, Star Wars... Compared so, to Star Wars, no. But. Uh, there's another uh, section we need to talk about. Yeah, um, um, in the mind, of, in the minds of us. So, what we think could be changed in the world, and what we think could would be interesting to have in the world. A um, solar-powered flashlight, in case you get lost in the day, <coughs> and you need some light. Or, you don't or, your or a flashlight <laughs> that is a flash dark. And, like, it's good for the daytime, and that, it makes darkness, and, would, and wherever you would, need darkness. That, that'd be the dark, worst invention ever. J- J- Wait, no. That was really dumb. <laughs> just, just kill yourself after that one. Okay, what about, <laughs> what about flying cars for Back to the Future? Still haven't seen those. The so DeLorean. We need the DeLorean. The DeLorean's a real car. Really? Yes. Oh. Seriously? Wow. Really? Bruh. Yeah, <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. you need to just like not be here anymore. Hey, let's talk about that um actual uh, hoverboard that's coming out in November. You know, is it this November? Yeah, 2015. I don't know if you guys have seen videos of it, but it's super uh, loud. Yeah, and the it's battery's really only really and it only works on metal surfaces, and the battery only <coughs> uh, lasts for seven minutes, and it's crazy expensive. What yeah. metal surface <laughs> is there that you can just walk on? Uh, cars. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's like so what you can just walk over a storm drain and then just kind of ooh for like yep <laughs> half a second and then keep mm-hmm. walking mm-hmm. I couldn't do it, make it concrete or grass I think this is the video that it was it's really loud here's just you know when you're walk- or when you're riding like a scooter or a skateboard or something and then like you show up with grass and you have to walk it mm-hmm. that's when you do like a hoverboard that's like grass powered so you pull it out just ride on that while you go mm-hmm. through the grass. What's that, Tiger? Nothing. It's nice thing now. It's like muffled in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um. 
So, we might need to take another break real quick. Do you know what's amazing? What? Not having finals. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. Great. Lucked out for being in grade 8. <laughs> no, like, I mean, we like, my friends test. at SPC, and they do finals, like, uh, all the junior highs do finals at the end of the year, all the time. Look, my opinion on finals. Since it's at the very end of the year, you'd need to completely get a zero for it to change your mark at all. Unless you are normally getting zeros and it wouldn't change it at all. But anyways, so, uh, plus, the, stu the students are burned out at the end, at that close to the end of the year anyways. It's so, mm. like, you know... And so, being that it doesn't change your mark and the students are burned out, like, I think the U.S. has it, like, has that system great where they just end it in, like, the middle of May. Really? Uh, yeah. But then again, school starts in for them, uh, back in, I forget if it's September or August. I think Do it, they still have, I think they, do yeah. they actually have 104 days of summer vacation? And school comes along just to end it? Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I don't know. I, Do they I, actually I, I think that they have, some, being that we're not American, we wouldn't know, but I think they have break three break. months, but they don't have, like, Christmas break or spring break or fall break. No, I just don't think they're just long and, as long as ours, like the breaks. I don't know. Tyler, research it. I'm looking. Two hundred eighty-four grams of finishing oil for you. Um... Where? It doesn't say anything. Okay. Look at this. Okay, you see how, like, on the thing, it's like, it looks like a nice gourmet dinner? Mm hmm Who eats it on a plate? They don't just, like, pour it on the... No, they eat it out of this. Maybe somebody who wants... Maybe some, like, wife that wants to be like... Oh, yeah, depends I on the cook. Depends on the state. Oh, depends really? on the state, okay. Yeah. Where do, um, <coughs> face and Alaska. The tri-state area, so. Yeah, tri-state area. Um, the so. The tri-state. What is this? This is our <laughs> last topic that should last the rest of the podcast. This is the very last, uh, section three. This is Innovation Week talk, where we spend the whole 20 minutes just talking about Innovation Week. So, how much, um. How much time do we have until the end of the day? Until the end of the day today, or luck. Day. Day? Like, what time is it? It's almost one. Oh. Time for you to get a watch. So, um, Please Innovation watch. Week. Have you guys I heard of any... Oh. Have you guys heard of any cool Innovation Week projects besides this one that you guys would like to check out? Um, Absolutely there's always not. the, uh, people in the music room doing what they do. I know that, uh, Tyler and I, uh, back in past uh, Innovation Weeks, we used to write a bunch of songs. And then oh, no, you don't want to, you don't want to hear them. Man up. That was no, my favorite no, one. No, no, <laughs> no. And then the, no, uh, <laughs> no, that no. song is crap. Next time we write a song, we're going to make it as dumb as possible. It worked out pretty well for Weird Al. <coughs> we might make one for the podcast. I think that'd be interesting if we did yeah. do one for the podcast. Yeah. A whole song. Great oh. podcast, talking about things about the world. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you pull that? <laughs> oh, I'm doing it. I just, I just made that up now. And then, like, yeah. And then the second song that we tried to make up, we uh, ripped off the bass line to Aces High by <laughs> 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 Power Slave by album. Um, I nailed it. That, have you heard of any Innovation Week projects uh, you would like to go check sun. out? Not this time. This time it's kind of like... It's boring. a really weird topic. This, yeah, because it was about is, like um, helping people. Around. How are we helping, helping people? Oh, we're right giving now. them entertainment. We're entertaining them. We're giving them things and uh, providing them with news. Yeah. Maybe not helpful news, but okay. That Donald stuff. That <laughs> Donald Trump <laughs> crap was pretty darn funny. That was good news. That was good. Good story podcast. Tell you about the stuff the world. <laughs> tell me about the stuff the world. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it just has to be perfect. Changed, it, it was totally different from the first time you said it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll be different every time. About stuff about the world or It'll be different every time. I guarantee it. You guarantee it. Talk about the hey stuff of the world. Hey guys, how about like a helping Stuffing hat? Turkeys. How about a helping hat, like from Meet the Robinsons or whatever? What the heck is? Is that the futuristic weird one where? Like, anyway, let's go back on to Never seen it. <laughs> So Tanner, you're not doing Innovation Week this year, are you? No, I'm sitting in a class or doing Did you did you have a plan for Innovation Week? 
Yeah, well, because it's helping someone. Um, <coughs> we're going to, like, teach each other, like, skateboard tricks and stuff. Me, Ethan, and Des, but, like... Really, we went up to Mr. McLean. We're like, "Yeah, can we do this?" And he's like, "No, he's still helping someone out of your group." So we're like, "Whatever." But this would be interesting to listen to in class. Just like throw on your headphones. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the point of this podcast is um, for anyone who is doing work or doing things that may be tedious. They say maybe organizing their room, uh, playing Minecraft, grinding out Enderman, mm-hmm. um, doing just. Things that you need something to listen to. to keep your mind stuff off up of what in it is. Yeah. <laughs> Do, uh, keep your mind off of what it is you're doing. Uh, that's what this podcast is for. And for that's when what you we... don't feel like listening to music. Yeah. And if you don't have music you want to listen to, you just want to listen to weird people talk about weird things. Dude, who doesn't want to listen to, like, Mexicans raping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who I doesn't love, want to listen to Donald Trump? I love Trump. listening to... Mexicans raping. I can't people. believe Donald Trump actually Donald. said that. <laughs> Dude, Donald think. Trump is like, <laughs> I'd like to see how he runs the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, the U.S. already proves they don't care. Like, they, they, all... they totally let, like, Mitt Romney totally, like, out, even though he was freaking fantastic. Oh, I just noticed yeah. the election is going to be Mitt Romney and Donald Trump, probably. Really? I think so. Dude, that would be amazing, because, like, no Obama idea. can't do anything, because this is his second term, Yeah, and uh, he so he can't play the Mormon card anymore. That's someone else's job. <laughs> Dude, to all the Mormons in the world... So, uh, really quickly, cool. who is running for president? I'm a Mormon. Is <laughs> cool. Hillary Clinton, Jeb Bush... <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Here, I'll, I'll go in, in the... Um... Never mind. Do um, males first and then females. <laughs> they haven't had a, or they, they haven't had a girl president. No. And Hillary Clinton's not going to be Bernie it. Sanders, Ted Cruz, Martin O'Malley, Rand Paul, Lincoln Chaffee, Mar- Marco Rubio, Jim Webb, Ben Carson, Joseph R. Bedden Jr., Carly Elizabeth Warren, and Mike Harvard, and Rich Savage. And George Fazekey and Liz, Lin, Li, L- Lindsay what? Lohan, <laughs> a guy, a guy named Lindsey Graham. Oh jeez, what the heck? What? Rick Perry, of course, Donald Trump. Yeah, boy, my yeah. yeah. man, Donald Trump. Chris Christie, Bobby the Yendel, Kajan Cass guy, and Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney, yeah. 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 Not running, actually. What? what? Says not running. Ah, oh, dang! I did not want. I didn't. I did not want to make it more difficult for someone else to emerge who may have a better chance of becoming the president. No man, Romney has like the <coughs> best. No, chance. he's not running. Wait, what I was keep the, calling him up. What was the final rate or er, the final uh, statistics against Romney and Obama in the last election? Like it was like fifty-one, fifty, something like that. Yeah, fifty-one, forty-nine. Oh yeah, yeah. no. One hundred one percent of Americans <laughs> live in America. <laughs> Did you know that one hundred percent of divorces come from marriage? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you know that like people or like I think it was like ninety eight percent of people or whatever who got divorced <coughs> or ninety percent ninety something percent of people who like did the nasties on their first date. Ended up getting divorced. Good to know. <laughs> I know that. I was like, hmm? What about second dates? No yeah. second dates, fine. They get married. What, what about, <laughs> they what just a, get what, married the what, first what, date. What about, what about second date, but like your second date, not not second dates, not second date with that person. So like it would be. So it is first date. Not so your first date though. First date with other person. What are you talking about? Just I'm very confused. Just because you think Stop. someone's smart doesn't mean they ain't smart. <laughs> I just moved the microphone really quick. It was not in the center. I was missing the OCD. No, I don't have OCD. Me I have OCD. No, you don't. I do. Man, if you have, like, one of your posters, even the slightest, like, percentage of, like, uh... Slightest percentage. Degrees, percentage <laughs> of a degree is, like... 
crooked, you like freak out and probably like call the firefighters. Yeah, I, I need I need one of those like level things, you know, those like things with like the bubble and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need one of those. Seriously, like, do you actually use one? Sometimes. Um. Oh, there was something else I wanted to mention as well. I completely um did Oops. forget about it. Um. What's this? Um. So. The HoloLens, the Microsoft HoloLens. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I don't know that. if you've ever heard, if you guys have seen this yet. This is this goes into video game news. Yeah. With the Holo, it, the HoloLens basically is a virtual reality that changes the whole world into the virtual reality. I yeah. heard about that. And there's a setting because it's Microsoft. Microsoft owns Minecraft. Mm-hmm. With the HoloLens, you can do Minecraft in your own living room, which means you can build houses. Really quick, let me turn the computer to show you guys. You can build houses with the micro lens, with your fingers and place blocks like in your living. You what? Could, you could make your. No. You could. You That's could, Photoshop. You, no. No way. You could design your own room. Yeah, almost as photoshopped with, as your face. Just this is coming it. from 4J themselves. How many Dude. years ago was it that we were playing like Tetris and it was like the best thing ever? Dude, Tetris is still the best thing ever. <laughs> it kind of is. Dude, I I totally like put on my headphones, then like put on Tetris on the NES in my room, then like <laughs> listen to Dead, Tr- then like listen to Def Leppard while I'm like playing Tetris, you know. You went to the how was the Def Leppard? Oh, Leopard dude, the Def Leppard concert was amazing. Ethan's going to the FIFA game tonight. He has VIP tickets. Yeah, I heard him talking about it. I that was the actually that, that we in that we're going to have, right. which I completely forgot to put in was sports. But uh, really quickly, in news that I know right off my head, of course, the NHL uh, draft is coming up this weekend. The Edmonton Oilers are going to get Nerd. Connor McDavid. So you. Wait, who's getting who? Edmonton Oilers are getting Connor, Connor McDavid. Who's that? He's said to be one of the better, best uh, hockey players coming in since Gretzky. That's good. That's amazing. Um, so we actually might win a game. We might actually do something. We got new coaching staff. We just fired our, our yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. our old one. Our no, oh, we we did. We just fired our um, dra- our um, scouts. So that's interesting. But you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, anyway. So I'm just don't talk. No, I'm not. A, I'm not an NHL person. Uh, Tanner, what kind of sports do you like? No, I like CFL and FIFA. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not all that. David doesn't like sports. Yeah. I'm, all right. I have. Let, I have. I. I experience much less injuries when <coughs> playing Tetris. When <laughs> playing Tetris, exactly. Or when playing the piano and harmonica at the same time. Okay. And then singing. What about um? That gets all the babes right there. Like, if you play, bring a guitar to school and start rocking out, all the football players will be like, what was where's all the cheerleaders? Tyler? I can confirm because my dad told me this. <laughs> <laughs> Ted is going to go garbage digging. <laughs> what? Garbage digging. Go garbage on, Tyler. Tyler. I don't want that. Ew, it's open. Garbage digger. <laughs> um. Ew. <laughs> so I have... Um, I, I just came up with this idea for the very last podcast. What I was thinking is we don't actually go into a room like this. We go out into... Because the very last day is the showcase. Mm-hmm. And we would have nothing to showcase because people would listen to it as soon as it comes out. So what if we... Um, what if we take the podcast to the yeah. showcase? We interview people as they're walking by. Oh. That would be good. <laughs> I, think, I think that'd be good. Um... But uh, on that note of ideas, I think I think now is a good time to wrap up the podcast. Hold All on, right. hold on. Oh, I got right. one more conversation now. Oh, oh, what's this conversation? Is like, this about the birds and the bees? Yeah. Have, have you had that talk yet? Yeah. I don't think you have. Don't I worry, Javon. You straight in the zero. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I'm talking about um, like events you've recently been to. Tanner's wondering about his body. <laughs> Kind of what kind of events have you been to recently? I went to Cavalia during the summer, the like the last summer. Cavalia, or oh, is that that weird like horse thing? Yeah, I had VIP tickets, so you got free, <sighs> free drinks free and free food. 
And we got like to keep four horses. Get to keep them. That'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, get to keep them and name them. I, and I just them. lock them up in my room in a cage. Yeah. Uh, I, I went stay. to the uh, I went to the Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddess Master Quest tour uh, recently, and that was amazing. Like honestly, if you guys like like the Legend of Zelda and like the music in it, I highly suggest you go. Did you guys go to like the Indiana Jones? I did go to that. I wanted to, I but was cool. I couldn't. They had um, movie like artifacts from the movie there. Oh really? Uh, like and the, um, like props. Yeah, like actual props, and they um, you go through with this iPad sort of thing, with headphones on, and you yeah, walk through, and it is. starts talking about it and stuff. What really sucked was that my headphones were half broken. Oh. Only one of the headphone worked. I was so disappointed. Oh man, it was really bad. I went to the Harry Potter one that they had. Oh, yeah. I didn't go to the Harry Potter. Hey, dude, one. See, who would win in a fight, Han Solo or, or Indiana Jones? Indiana um, Jones. Indiana Jones got the movie. He's like, whoosh, whoosh, yeah, whoosh. take his gun, shoot him. Plus, yeah, if rip, uh, Han Solo ends up pepperoni. killing Indiana Jones, you got short round. Who would be like, you will so. do your homework? <laughs> <laughs> um, Doctor Jones. So another event I went to just recently was I went to Motley Crue. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and you went to the Black Sabbath concert. I did that go was to the Black Sabbath. That was, that, that was last year. How, how did uh, Alice Cooper compare to the, uh, as an opening act, how did Alice Cooper compare to Motley Crue? Alice Cooper was way better than Motley Crue, I feel. Oh, really? Not really, because I, I do prefer Motley Crue's music a little more than Alice Cooper. I do like their music, but when I went to the Motley Crue concert, it was super loud. Like, I'm not... Too loud? I, it was too loud. Like, I couldn't hear it. Like, it got loud to the point where I just, no one could hear it anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was where we were sitting, because we were pretty close to the front. Mm -hmm. But it was it was not a fun experience. Well, uh, what about the Alice Cooper had a really good sound, though. Well, what about, like, Motley Crue's, like, uh, upside-down <coughs> drum kit? That was oh. a thing. That was cool. They played uh, dubstep music, though, which kind of upset me a little bit. But. Oh, Yeah. I don't like uh, dubstep. Sorry. I really you don't. You can leave. Oh, you don't like dubstep? Yeah. Okay, good. You can stay. You can leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you liked dubstep. Then yeah. I was like, no. No, I just don't like dubstep. I mean... Yeah. Really? Anyone with a computer can do it. They say, hey, check out what I made. Then I was like, your computer made that. <laughs> True. If they want... <laughs> what can you do? Anyway, press a play button. So what happens at a dubstep concert? Anyway... Like the, shut up, Tyler. Like the guy come we need to wrap this up. What? Just a second. Does the guy, day, does the guy okay. like plug in his computer just, to an amp, then press play, then sit, at, then like set up a chair, then like sip <laughs> beer the entire <laughs> concert? Pretty much. Yeah. Anyways, that's that's my phone went off. Or is that yours? That oh, okay. So we just hit the hour mark. So we need to we need to start wrapping this up. Mm -hmm. um, are there anything else you guys want to say before we quit? Donald Trump is my hero. <laughs> rape of Mexicans and, right. and ISIS so, attacking America and like and Canada Day. Canada and Day is coming up. Hi, getting a new leader, a cheerleader, and <laughs> Obama just hating on Obamacare. Obama. So uh, that this was the Innovation Week, First. Greystone Podcast Day One. With our special guest, of course, Tanner. He will not be returning yeah, next time. Extra of course. special. He's very special. <laughs> He's got the pills for it. Um, he says that I get to be special on the show. Yeah, <laughs> you can just go now. My mom yeah. said that too. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> um, I wanted to say it though, but so anyone who needs to contact us, we don't have an email for it yet, but it'll probably be graystonepodcast at gmail dot. Um, or you that's could probably just Greystone Podcast at gmail.com. You can contact us if you want to add to the show if you have notes or questions. Just want to say hi. Be really annoying because people tend to do that. <laughs> you guys can do that. Um, just don't send pictures that will scar them for life. Yeah, please, please. don't <laughs> send pictures of bad things because then we'll have to do bad things to you. <laughs> Cut off your eyelids and watch, make you watch um, yeah. all, all the Put original. Sure no, right. the original uh, Star Trek. Yes, oh, Star I Trek that so much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is the end of the podcast. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, the rest of your life. We will see you guys tomorrow in the next podcast, where we don't have a guest yet, 
but uh, you can contact us with that email or at our me and James class or Mr. Burns class in the blue pod if you want to be a guest on the show. We will see you all next time. Bye. GG. Later, nerds.